Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And the Kaijin event has returned. It is only here until the 14th. It is currently the 10th, so it's not here for very long, which is why people need to grind this event. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stages for you to do. And they all have very good rewards. So they have the small rocks, the medium rocks, the big rocks, and then they have the rainbow rocks as well. So this is a perfect time, as I said last night, for you to get specific colors of rocks that you may be missing. Uh, most of the time, red rocks are the most used because a lot of characters need attack, especially the DPS units. And so you will burn through a lot more red rocks than you will, say, these light blue ones because they're only used for protectors and you only ever get, you know, 12 a year. So, well, 24 if you count the free-to-play ones that people may or may not actually level up. But alongside that, we have the Forging Materials event, which gives magic ore every typing of the cores that you need to get gear, plus all of the other materials that you need to make good gear. This is what I think a lot of people should focus on, especially if you don't really need that many rocks. So this stage, I think, is the best value for newer mid-game players because it has everything you need. You can reforge gear with these, you can make new gear with these cores and these materials. This is a fantastic place for you to grind it. And you get really you get a lot of it if you do big time if you do parallel process of it. You don't have to do like nine nine nines. Some people will, but you could definitely get a lot of value out of this. The grindstone stage, unfortunately, does not give as much grindstones as I would like. So I generally avoid parallel processing the stage unless you're really, really desperate for these more than anything else. But at least make sure to do it, each of them once, because you're getting like 10 big rocks here, 10 things, 5 things, so, you know, and plus each stage has 5 crystals, right? So, uh, you know, a small amount of crystals, free rewards, and also really good drop rates. But uh, that's not what today's entire videos focus on. It's focused on if you want to do big time parallel processes on this and you want to just fucking dump 1600 goddamn potions into your stamina bar and do 999s literally the entire time until the 14th or whatever date it is for you that it ends, um, the best and easiest way for you to get a butt ton of stamina potions is going to be in the Isis Tower Loop Loop shop. So if we go into the event tab and we go into the Isis Coin Bazaar, you can buy stamina potions for about 20 coins here. And I've got 6,300. So if I wanted to buy all of this, I could get, you know, 319 potions here. That's quite a bit for 6,000 coins. But how do you get these coins? Well, you get them by playing, not Valor Cup, press the wrong button. You get it by playing Tower of Isis Loop Loop. And by just grinding it and beating it every single, you know, stage, every little tile, you can get isis coins at varying degrees of amounts so for me personally i grind floor 55 because the highest one it takes three stamina per tile but it gives you commensurate rewards and i just restart this and i've been using a light magic team because it's type neutral and you know they've got a lot of options right so i run uh this team that you're gonna find out eventually skip and you got these two red fights and we do this we get coins and we get light crystals which doesn't matter but i run a light team that is mainly focused on bride shuna just stealing three orbs into six and then nuking each character uh for these two stages and then i just reset over and over and over because it's the best way it's the best use of stamina versus rewards gained because the red fights give you a lot especially on high floors so just as an example we're gonna murder the soe and you'll see how many actual coins i get so we have three orbs for soka cool bring in shuna for soka steal those three get her alt nuke soe into the ground move on so one two three four five six not enough to get mirin literally does not matter and then we do enough damage, we'll have an alt. We've got Vengeance Veldora for his, you know, alt buff. And we've got Shuna for her own attack buff. Um, obviously, if you don't have these options, bring some other team. Or maybe don't choose as many um, limitations for your, your coin gain. But by doing it, you get 50% extra rewards, which is pretty good. And then we can kill this guy. 
kill him. There we go. 40k. Awesome. He's done. And how many uh, how many Isis coins do we get? By chance. Skip. We get 72 plus 36. So we get 108. And every stamina potion costs 20. That's not bad for one stage. You know, this is also with the max challenge bonus. But even if you're a newer player, the lower stages of tower... You can still get coins, right? You can still go all the way down here, and you can still get stamina coins from the Tower of Ices, which you can also do Tower of Ices while parallel processing something else. It's because it takes different stamina. And if you want to do, like, stage 20 or something, or however high you can go, and get as many coins as you can, because each of these fights will give you coins, then you just take those into the Isis shop, buy as many potions as physically possible, and dump them all into the Kaijin event, and get all your grinding materials. And this event doesn't come around very often, right? We haven't gotten it since January of, of you know, this year. It's now, you know, mid-March. And sometimes you go a lot longer without having it. So it's imperative that people grind this event now for the next three days and change. And, you know, the best way to do that is to get stamina potions from Tower Vices. Or, if you get lucky, you can get them from bond conversations from your people in town. They can sometimes give you, like, five or six or two or one. And that's also just free and easy. Uh, let's see if I get lucky with Shuna, I guess. And we'll see if she gives me some stamina potions. That way we can uh, keep going. Right? Extra stamina with Shuna. <laughs> Uh, Bond XP, 1,008, cool. That's just because I've been playing forever. And Tempest Coins, all right, well, whatever. But yeah, please do the Kaijin event. Please grind it as much as possible. I would forego doing anything else right now, and I would dump all of your resources into the Kaijin event because the rewards you get back more than make up for it. Burn all your stamina potions because the amount of stuff this gets you is incredible. So I will do a 999 parallel process for this stage tonight. And I will do a community post later tomorrow and be like, this is what I got. Look at all this crap. So please do the event. Do tower. Get the Isis coins. Buy out the shop. You can exchange unlimited amounts of coins for stamina potions. And then dump them all back into Kaijin. But there's the PSA for today. I really, really hope this helps a lot of new players out. It should because of just the massive amount of rewards it gives. And also you know new players you can or older players you can stock up right i have a butt ton of these items just saved because all i do whenever it comes out is i do gigantic parallel process so i've got 30,000 of these rocks you know 22,000 of the med medium rocks you know 7,000 of these blue rocks how do i get that so much i grind the kaijin event when it comes out every single time so again, that's my PSA for you guys, but that's it for me. Take it easy and I'll see you all later.